Welcome to The Stronghold. It's Tuesday. We have a fun show today. We're going to have a super heavyweight match between Jolteon and Flareon. So that's going to be one of the uh, activities that you get to, to vote on to see who you think is going to win, Jolteon or Flareon. That was similar to when we did the big battle between Charizard and Blastoise um, last session. So we're doing that because we're about to start the Pokemon Battle League playoffs, which starts tomorrow. Also, um, pig racing, we hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun for us. We're gonna be doing that this summer and we will have a deluxe track. I got one um, coming. So hopefully next session, uh, if I have that deluxe track, you might get to be the first to see that. Also, uh, sign up if you would like to for the Stronghold. This will probably be our last stronghold for a while because I have to start getting ready for summer camp. But anyway, um, so right now we're going to get ready for this heavyweight championship, super heavyweight champ, Jolteon versus Flareon. Pick your winner and we'll be right back. We have a heavyweight match between Jolteon and Flareon. So this should be a good one. We're going to go ahead and uh, see who gets to go first. Flareon with a 6, Jolteon with a 2, so it looks like we're going to have Flareon attack first. It's 20 hit points, and we have a reroll, a potion, and this is you get to roll two dice and add them up, so it's like a super punch. So here we go, down to 19. Jolteon. 19, so not a lot of damage to start. Flareon. Wow, 18, so nothing much going on with these two heavyweight fighters. Wow. No one's kind of just feeling each other out, doing some jabs, and there's a power punch. He's down to 16. If you remember last time we had a Charizard Blastoise heavyweight match, so we thought we'd show you another one because we're getting ready for the playoffs. Tomorrow starts the playoffs for the Pokemon Battle League. And he's down to 14. Jolteon. Ooh, and a super strike. That's what you like to see. These heavyweights throwing some heavy punches so that put him in the lead or her in the lead and a zap and he's down to 12 oh no that could be the turning point actually you know what we are not going to allow that we are going to re-roll oh that's the healing isn't it re-roll and that's better it's at 13 13 to 13 We'll see if that's a good decision, but did not want to change the momentum. Here comes Jolteon down to 11. Flareon answers with a power punch of his own. It's down to 11. This is a great fight. Down to 9. And we're in the first time you see single digits. And going to use the potion. Interesting choice and only goes up to a 10 and he still gets to attack and that is a 2. So it's down to 9. Jolteon down to 9 to 10. Let's see what happens but they each have that power punch. It's down to 9. So we have an even up match and we are going to call timeout. Back to the action. Round two, everybody. Flareon versus Jolteon. They both have nine. Both single digits. Flareon attacks. Ooh, and a super strike down to six. This was an awesome shot. We're going to see a potion. And he has a reroll just in case he rolls a zap on the potion. You know what? I might have jinxed him. So he's going to have to use both. And he's up to eight. So... There's the potion, but you know, the good news is he still gets to use an attack, and he's going to use, or Jolteon's going to use, 
the super strike and this is what you do you roll two dice and add them up oh man one minus zero that was probably the worst thing that could happen so minus one to yourself and minus one and now flareon who looked like potentially was in, in the ropes gonna use their power shot and it's a two so he's down to five so not too bad so he withstood that pretty good uh, five to eight this is crucial you have to have a massive shot here he wants either a power punch or a super strength to stay competitive and it's not it is a weak slap down to seven if you picked Flareon, you look like you're in good shape right now, but anything could happen. He could roll up. So you notice we have no more strategy coins left. So that was a four, still still alive here. Jolteon needs another, this is another chance. Oh, and a super strike down to four. That is exactly what you need. Now, anything can happen because zaps could happen. Anything could happen. We just don't want to see it. Here we go. Flareon down to two. He's within striking distance. So Jolteon has to do something here. And he's down to two. Here we go. Now a two or a three will win and by knockout. And he does. He does. He knocks him out. Flareon is your winner in this super heavyweight bout. Flareon takes down Jolteon. If you pick Flareon, you are the winner. Okay, you met the racers, and here they are at the starting gate. We're going to go simultaneous. Remember, one, two, three, a zap is zero. They don't move at all. Checkers moves one space. Lucky with a shamrock on his back moves three. One, two, three. He is lucky to start. Apple. Apple goes three. Wow, this is a quick start. Star goes one. So after... A quick start. It looks like Shamrock and Apple are out in front. Checkers catches up one, two, three, and passes. Here comes Shamrock. Shamrock with two. Apple looking for a big roll. He also gets two, or she gets two. Here comes Star. Star is all the way in the back with one. Here we go, Checkers. Oh, and he slows down. Sh uh, lucky. Two for Apple. Apple takes the lead. Blue goes one, two. Blue star. All right, here we go. We're going to start again. Checkers. Checkers. One, two, three, and crosses the first third of the track. Here comes Lucky. He goes two, and he's tied for the lead. Let's see if Apple... Apple. Apple stays there. Unbelievable. It's finally a mistake. We only had one zap the whole race so far. And let's see. Here we go. A lot of pigs watching on. Checkers decides to not move this time. And Lucky goes too. Lucky takes advantage and takes the lead. Here comes Apple with two. Here comes Star. Star stays there again, so Star is definitely in last place. If you pick Lucky right now, you're in the lead. Checkers goes two. Turns it on. Lucky. Zap stays there. Wow, now we got a close one. Here comes Apple. He does not move. Star goes one. We're adjusting the track here. And checkers back to goes only one lucky two takes the lead 
Apple needs a big roll, but does not to stays right there. And blue star goes one. Here comes checkers. Ooh, three, one, two, three. And the crowd goes wild. Look at checkers taking the lead. Here comes lucky. Slows down a little bit. Apple, one, two. Star, one, two. It's going to be a close race, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes checkers. Does not move. Oh, no. And we have one. He ties for the lead. If you picked lucky or checkers, they are making a move. Apple, still close. We're definitely within the race. But look out. One, two, three. And the blue star pig is suddenly close. We thought he was out of the race, but suddenly turns on the speed. Look out. We're going to have a close, close match. One, two, three. You can't, you can't even believe this. On the, almost starting the home stretch. And we have a three-way tie. A four-way tie for the lead. That is awesome. Look at these horses, or these, I'm sorry, these piggies run. The crowd is on their feet. Checkers breaking into the home stretch with a one. Lucky with a one. Apple with a one. And let's see about Blue Star. Blue Star doesn't move. Oh, that was a unfortunate. Here comes Checkers with another one. Lucky. The Shamrock Pig. Oh, and Apple takes the lead. Star stays the same. Blue Star. And there's a roll for Checkers. Checkers stays right there. Oh, no. And here comes Shamrock. Apple can. Apple just goes one. So this is going to be a close one. Blue Star, two. You never know what's going to happen. We are close, ladies and gentlemen. Three, one, two, three. The crowd loves it. Here comes Checkers turning on the speed. Sees the finish line. But right beside him is Shamrock. And right beside that is Apple. Blue Star. Okay, now if he rolls a three, Checker rolls a three, that is a good thing to finish the race. But doesn't. Same thing. Right now, if a three will get there, does not. We might have a photo finish. Apple, we are going to have a photo finish. One. All right, so now we are at the top of the lineup to finish the race. We are going to do it. Whoever rolls the highest would be the, going the fastest across the line. So we will see. We might even have to do a photo finish. One. So checkers is finished. But then Shamrock also gets to go. One, so they are tied right now. We'll have to do a photo finish, but let's see if Apple... Apple doesn't move! And Blue Star goes one. So, it is between Checkers and uh, Lucky. So, here's Checkers' roll. Three, so that was is going to be tough to beat. And two. So this is first, second, and now we are going to finish the race. One, two. If he rolls a three, he's still in last place. So stays there. So we have first, second, third, and last. First, second, third, and last. What a great race. We'll see you next time. Wow, did you pick Flareon? That was pretty good battle though. Went all the way down to the end, the uses of the strategy coins. Um, I thought Jolteon had a chance, but um, Flareon, I mean, that was a great match though. That was a great match. Maybe next session we'll have uh, Flareon take on the winner of our uh, other heavyweight championship and, and do one big um, unification of the title. Also, I um, hope you enjoyed pig racing, which is a lot of fun. And uh, that's it for today. So tomorrow we'll have a special guest and our guest the guest. And 
and um, should be a lot of fun. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.